Hello friends, welcome to C Sharp Intermediate to Advanced tutorial. Now we are starting a new sub series, and in this sub series, we will learn about containers that means panels. So, in this video, we will learn about uh, panel and in the next coming series we will create the example that you are seeing here in the left hand side and when we implement the example we will come to know uh, how to dag the panels so here in this picture the panel is not dagged so it's in the top uh, it contains a label this is a design time sample label so uh, you will learn how to dock panel then how to add controls to this panel dynamically then we will also come to know how to use the uh, size mode property so that the panel behavior can be learned that means how it will uh, uh, resize according to the controls added to it then we will learn about the scroll bar support also So panels are like group box without a title. So in the previous picture, if you saw uh, in the top left, I mean in the top portion of the form, we have a panel and that panel also had a label inside it. But the panel does not have any title like a group box. So group box will come with a title and it will have a border, etched border, but a panel, uh, it comes without any title. So inside the panel control, we can add and remove controls dynamically. So here, when you are learning the series, you will come to know how we can add label dynamically to our panel control. Uh, but you can add any controls to your panel and you can add that dynamically during the runtime. You can also add control at design time and uh, in the previous screenshot if you saw we already had one label. We will also learn how to add the controls dynamically. We will also learn how to remove it also. So panel resizes automatically just like the labels auto property so we can say it auto size for the label to true so that when you type more number of characters uh, the uh, labels size will increase so when you start typing the text uh, the label will automatically increase its width and when you remove some number of characters the panel will shrink i mean the label control will shrink the same way the panel also will resize so when you add controls the panel will automatically increase its size uh, to show the newly added control similarly when we remove the control we can also make the panel to shrink so that uh, uh, it will reduce its size that means the shrink and grow both are possible so when panel has more controls it can be scrolled so that means uh, we have to turn off the auto size to make use of the scrolling let's say that a panel has five text boxes and when we add a sixth text box let's assume that it cannot be visible in the panel uh, panel's current size so during that time when panel is uh, it's a there is a property uh, which will allow panel to grow or shrink so to show the fifth control the panel will automatically grow and when you remove that fifth control the panel will shrink in its size so to actually make use of the scroll bar we have to first disable this auto size so that the panel size will be fixed fixed in the signs uh, it won't grow or it won't shrink but instead it will provide a scroll bar so that you can scroll the panel content and you can see the newly added control 
So in this sub series, we will create an example and study panel container. So in the uh, introduction slide, you saw an example. So that's the example we are going to create in the next coming uh, part of this uh, sub series. That's all here uh, in this uh, video. Thank you for watching. Bye.